everyone, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. Back to school season will be upon us very soon. And so today I wanted to give you a fun little idea for the back to school season. This would make a great gift for your new teacher or someone that you know that's going back to school or maybe a little gift for all the students in your class. Either way, this is what we'll be making today. It's a cute, wise little owl for the back to school and it can hold a little gift bag that is perfect for a gift card or maybe a piece of jewelry or something like that. I'll show you some other options later in the video, but this is the owl we're going to be learning today. So grab your balloons and let's get twisting. This little owl is so cute, but it's also easy and fast to make, which is great. So all you need to make this little owl is two balloons that are 260s. I've got a yellow and a brown and then one white five inch round for the eyes. I'm gonna start with the feet. So that's gonna be the yellow and we're just gonna inflate this about four pumps. We're not gonna use all of this so it doesn't matter. Tie that off and then we're gonna go right ahead and make his little feet right now so we have them ready to go. So for his feet, we're gonna do about a two inch bubble. Repeat that, so another bubble the same size. Bring your knot over and wrap it around that twist you just made and tuck your nozzle through those two bubbles so it stays in place. Same thing for the other side. The other foot is gonna be the same, two bubbles. Just twist those together and you're gonna have your two little uh, owl feet. You can get rid of the rest of this, but save your scrap piece because that will be his beak at the end. So just set that aside, put in your apron, and then to secure this, instead of tying it or anything like that, what I do is I just kind of thread it through the middle of those feet a couple of times. That way I don't have to tie it. I can just walk it around those twists and it'll stay placed pretty good. All right, next we're gonna take our brown balloon and you wanna inflate this one about seven pumps. I keep wanting to put this pump here in the plant. You can be my pump holder. Are you a good pump holder though? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to work on that. Okay, so I've left about a two inch tail, let a little bit of air out of here before you tie it off. That way we can give it a little extra shaping. Okay, you're gonna squeeze your balloon, kind of stretch it maybe a little bit. And what we're gonna start with are his little ear fluff things. So I'm gonna fold my brown balloon over to make a large loop, okay? It's a big loop. And we're gonna walk our nozzle through the middle to lock it in place, so pretty big loop. Same thing one more time, another biggish loop. So these are his two loops. And then we're gonna come down one three to four inch bubble or so. We're gonna grab his feet, twist them right in there. Okay, we're gonna come back up into the top, twist it around into your loops. Now at this point, we're gonna make his little arms that are holding the gift. So you wanna squeeze and stretch your balloon out to thin it out a little bit for the arms. So I'm gonna bring my arm down to the side and cross over the front and just kind of see where that middle point is and make a twist and then bring it back up on the other side and twist into the head. Okay, now with our remaining balloon, so this is gonna be the front with the arms. In the back, we just have this one bubble. We're gonna take our remaining balloon down the back and turn it into two bubbles. So just twist that off so you have two bubbles the same size here in the back. You can wrap the remaining balloon around the feet. And if you're lucky, you'll end up with just enough here at the end for a little owl tail. Um, you shouldn't need to cut it off unless you have a really long tail, then you might wanna shorten it because I don't think of owls as having really long tails. <laughs> and if it's shorter, that'll actually help them stand up a little bit better. Instead of having a really long tail, it might kinda push them over a little bit, but you should end up with something kind of looking like this. So it's a cute little body. It's gonna be our little owl bird body. So to finish him off and really make him look like an owl, all we have to do is add the eyes and thank you plant holder. <laughs> I'm gonna just inflate this white five inch round. Not too much, we wanna really under inflate it, a little bit smaller than the size of my palm and tie that off. And then we're gonna take this nozzle in between both of our hands, twist that balloon in half, 
so that your nozzle is right in the middle. Now grab your owl. We're going to come in from the front. You're going to take that nozzle and our white balloon and pull it tight straight back underneath the ears and then back up through those white bubbles. If you can do it three times, that's great. If you can only get it wrapped around twice, that's fine as well. Just whatever, we'll lock it in place. All right? So he's got some big giggly stick out eyes right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up each of these loops and just kind of bring this front piece towards the front on each one. So that's gonna come towards the front and then this one, we're gonna bring this loop towards the front and we're just gonna line up those little ear tough fluff things right over our round five inch balloon, okay? So I know he's looking a little angry right now, but we're gonna fix that. First, he's gotta have his beak. So grab your yellow scrap that we saved and we're just gonna reinflate this one bubble of air. Owls do not have super long beaks, so I'm gonna make this a little short yellow bubble. Tie that off. And I wanna get this bubble all the way to the end. So I'm gonna hold on to it, squeeze, get it all the way down there. And then you can take this, right, coming from the front. We're gonna take this straight back past the ears. And then we can wrap it around that head one more time to get it locked in there. And then you could cut the rest of this off or if you're moving fast, you can just tuck it inside his little three bubble bird body. Look at how cute that owl is. And he came together so fast, not complicated at all, totally doable for a line work, fast moving situation. You could put a little stick in here, a lollipop, something that he can be holding in his little arms. Um, but he still looks a little angry. <laughs> it's the way the little eyebrow things are angled down. So we're gonna fix that with a little bit of artwork that will turn him from angry, mad about going back to school owl into a cute, happy to be here owl. <laughs> So the first thing that I did was just draw two big black circles on those eyes. You wanna make those black circles bigger than you probably normally would draw them for other balloon animals, cause this is an owl and they have big eyes. So big black circles, still looks a little menacing. So we're gonna soften up his expression with some eyebrows. You might be thinking these are the eyebrows, but no, those are just feathers. <laughs> the owls have other eyebrows. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do some nice little curved lines out to the side. And right away that takes his expression from this to hmm. <laughs> All right, now to make it even cuter, if you want, you can add some little eyelashes. I think that helps a lot. And I think it's pretty cute and easy. You don't have to be a superb artist or anything to just draw two little short straight lines off on the top corner of those black dots, okay? Anyone should be able to do that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of white paint pen on those eyes to give it some extra cuteness. So just some little white dots. I'm look at how cute that's looking. He doesn't look so angry anymore, does he? And then if you really wanna sell it, I'm gonna grab my uh, Superstar face paint in baby pink. This is like a pressed powder, pressed, pressed face paint. I don't know, you don't need any water for what we're doing. You just kind of rub your finger in it. It's like a thick blush. And I'm just gonna put that right off to the edge of those black dots that we drew. So his little cheeks are going to be on his eyeballs. Just don't ask questions and go along with it. <laughs> it's cute, it works, trust me. And look at this adorable owl. Isn't that so cute? And you could do this in any color. So if you don't like it in brown, you could do purple or blue or whatever color you like. A white owl, it could be a Harry Potter owl. Um, and then you can add the little gift card. So I just put this one and just a little bag that I had lying around. It fit right in there, it's perfect. Um, but this is also great if you buy like a little piece of jewelry or something, a lot of stores will put their jewelry in these little tiny gift bags that are so cute and will also fit perfectly in this little owl. I like this rainbow colorful one. That'd be really fun for a school teacher. So get them a little keychain, a little 
necklace or earring set or something or just use the bag and then plop a gift card in there there's a million things you could do with this to make it super fun um, and just a really nice gift that anyone would be happy to receive Ta -da! so there's our little owl holding our gift bag so i just slid it and tucked it um, so these arms are just holding it and then I just kind of opened up the top of it a little bit to kind of get it splayed out at the top. I just think it looks better that way. Um, and then there's this one that has a little gift card in it. This one's got a little bit of jewelry in there and the jewelry is kind of nice. It kind of gives it some weight. Um, the gift card is very light. So this would also be a fun one to put on a candy cup if you want to go another extra mile and make a, another a uh, step up of special um, but I think this would be a really fun present to give somebody especially um, if they're like a wise person or they're very intellectual or maybe for a graduation gift as well so let me know what you guys think about this little owl and don't forget you can use the owl without the present any time of year on your menus as well we will have cliff art drawn up for this guy so that you can advertise to your customers that you know how to make an owl and um, it can be great for the upcoming fall season that will be here soon as well. So keep this little owl in your repertoire and I'm excited to hear what you guys think in the comments. I also wanna see your balloon owls this week. Our free Facebook group is the place to post your work for our weekly tutorials. So let us know what you end up putting in your little gift sack um, or if you put like a lollipop or something else in his arms. We want to see your owls in different colors. Let us know what you're planning to do with this design. We'd love to see it. I'll be hanging out there to see what you guys are doing all this week until next week when I come back with another balloon twisting tutorial just for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to get the notification when the new videos come out. And if you want to get access to all of my clip art included in one low price along with member exclusive tutorials, downloadables, printables, templates, graphics, all kinds of things you need to run a balloon business. Um, let me take care of the tech design stuff so that you can focus on twisting and doing events. I'm really good at the techie stuff. So I've spent the last few years creating this amazing resource for balloon twisters who are serious about growing their business or just getting really good at balloon twisting. It's called the Twisterhood. That is our membership where we all hang out and get better together. So elevate your business, join the Twisterhood, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye everyone.